Hello and welcome to Minimalist Thoughts, where we will be talking about things that can help you improve your life. Our topic for today is weight loss, which is going to help you lead a much, much healthier life. The three steps to successful weight loss. A handy guide for beginners. So this is something that I came up with after watching hundreds of videos, reading tons of articles, and specific, more importantly, doing research myself by conducting an experiment on myself, by trying various different diets to see what would work. And based on that experience, I've come up with three very simple steps for you to take so that you can successfully lose weight and more importantly, lead a successful, healthy life. So if you look at most of us, we have a morning snack, which is cookies, followed by um, coffee and cookies, followed by breakfast, lunch, uh, an afternoon snack. There's always somebody in the office who has a birthday and uh, we're having a piece of cake, or if you're working from home, heading to the refrigerator, grabbing some snacks. Um, then you come back home, you have dinner, um, and then late at night, you're watching TV, some late night shows, Netflix or HBO Max or something, other thing that you're, um, you like to do. And you reach for a bag of potato chips, uh, possibly a cold beer or a glass of wine. So we, we eat a lot. And that kind of brings us to step one. What is it that you want to do? Well, step one is to eliminate all snacks. El eliminate your morning snack. Continue to have a cup of coffee without sugar, but obviously do not reach for that croissant or a cookie uh, or a bagel. Well, then you have your breakfast, you have lunch, and you have dinner. So you eliminate your morning snack, eliminate your afternoon snack, and eliminate your evening snack. Um, I'll be frank with you. This is probably the hardest step that you'll take. We are so used to reaching for the fridge or reaching into our bag and grabbing that granola bar or a piece of cake or some nuts or any kind of different snacks, piece of chocolate. And um, yeah, so once you are able to eliminate these snacks, I think you've taken a very, very important step in, in moving forward. So what are you doing now? You're eating three meals a day and while you're eating three meals a day, here's something that you need to keep in mind, that every time we eat, our, the insulin in our body rises. So as insulin rises, there, um, there are things that insulin causes that can be harmful to us, especially if your insulin level is very high, which causes your blood sugar to go high, <clears throat> causes heart disease, hypertension, and your body develops something called insulin resistance. And once your cells become insulin resistant, then they are your body per pumps even more insulin into your body. And this results in even greater harm to us. So we need to remember that insulin is a bad character in our life, is something that we want to avoid. And Essentially, there are three things that we have to remember. One is that fats cause insulin to spike a little bit, a very small amount. Proteins cause insulin to spike a little bit more, but not a whole lot. However, sugar and carbs cause huge spikes in insulin. So what we want to come off of this slide is that we need to avoid sugar and we need to avoid carbs. So that brings us to step two, which is eliminate sugar and eliminate carbs. Now, eliminate is a hard word. It's, it's very difficult to eliminate all sugar. It is very difficult to eliminate all carbs. So what we're really talking is no added sugar, no, no sugar in your tea, coffee, and you, you want to have a very low carb uh, diet. So the foods that you're eating are low carb. So you've eliminated all your snacks and you're having breakfast, lunch, dinner. However, as part of your breakfast, lunch, dinner, you are now eliminating sugar and having a very low carb diet. 
So what you basically want to do is eat more, uh, more fats, eat more proteins, things like avocados, um, cooking avocado oil, and um, you know, but you're still eating well. Now that you're, you've eliminated snacks, you're eating um, low sugar, low carb food, the step three that you want to take is to eliminate one of the meals. And I would suggest that you eliminate breakfast. So you're going to have lunch and you're going to have dinner. And this brings us into what we call in the intermittent fasting world as a 16 to 8 scenario where for 16 hours you're not eating anything and then within eight hours you're eating. However, that does not mean that you can munch all you want for eight hours. What this means is you have at the beginning of your eight hours, you have lunch. And then within that eight hour period, you have your dinner. And remember, we eliminated all snacking in step one. So you cannot go back to snacking within those eight hours. You just have your two healthy meals. And then the important thing is that we're not starving here. We are not counting calories. We want to eat until you're feeling full, till, till your stomach feels, hey, I can't eat anymore. However, what you're eating are things like berries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, good organic butter. You're eating eggs, as many eggs as you want, avocados, nuts such as macadamia and almonds and walnuts, and lots of green leafy vegetables, broccolis, um, and then you're eating meats um, if you're if you're okay with that. Um, good organic grass-fed meat, chicken, um, fish. Um, better best to go for um, the frozen section in fish, where you have um, wild-caught uh, fish. So so you're eating well until you're you're full. And it's it's as simple as that. These are your three steps. Number one, eliminate all your snacks. Number two, no sugar and low carbs for the food that you're eating. And number three, eliminate breakfast so that your lunch and dinner are essentially the only meals that you have. And my goal in this really is not so much to think of this as a diet, but as a way of life. Because the most important thing that you can have is your health. Your, the, the saying is that health is wealth, that if you have health, you have everything. So this little message that I want to send out there is that you can follow these three simple steps and be on your way, uh, not just to weight loss, but to uh, a, very, a much, much healthier you um, so that you can enjoy your life as you see fit. If you like today's presentation, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below as we continue to present more and more interesting and informative tutorials.